Hello Valley, I'm forecaster Brett Crandall in to let you know what you can expect for the next week. We've had quite a bit of rain over the weekend. Check out these rain totals over the last 24 hours. Brownsville saw over two inches of rain in many areas of the city, as well as out west near Falcon Dam, but five inches of rain. So a very wet weekend, but we could use the water, so we'll take it. Not quite as much in Hidalgo County, especially the northern end of the county, but it looks like we're getting some more that way this afternoon. We've seen some storm showers roll through Edago as well as Brooks County. And we could see some more this evening, but it looks like things are going to wrap up tonight and into tomorrow. Overnight temperatures in the upper 70s. It's going to feel kind of muggy out there with a chance of seeing some more wet weather. Tomorrow, though, only partly cloudy skies. We could see a coastal shower or two, but for the most part, the majority of us are going to stay dry with temperatures in the mid-90s. Putting future cast in motion, you can see overnight another chance of some wet weather. But high pressure is going to set in tomorrow and remain with us for the next week. So those showers really will be limited to the sea breeze along the coast. For the most part, going to be sunny and dry throughout much of the Rio Grande Valley. 7-day forecast temperatures pretty steady in the mid-90s throughout the lower valley. Overnight temperatures in the upper 70s. It will be quite breezy over the next few days, but still much more sunshine than we've seen over the weekend. If you haven't already, uh, check out our mobile app as well. You can keep up to date with that, and you can find that on iTunes as well as on the Android market. Have a great day.